So, you want to leave everything behind and go off into the mountains and become one with the Dao and the squirrels? It's a good idea. But listen to this first. It basically boils down to this. It gets really lonely. That means if you're fine with starting to talk to yourself and start talking to inanimate objects. Good morning, Mambo. Hello, Mia. Hello, Maki. Good morning, Mila. Good morning, Mikey Froggy. If you do not mind getting into nicher and nicher hobbies, <coughs> then the mountains is the right place for you to be. It sounds like I'm doing a commercial here for the mountains. Actually, part of the reason why I started this YouTube is because I just really felt the need to start talking, you know, I just... Jesus Christ. And I didn't even go full on mountains as I initially had intended. I mean, I do see people on a semi-regular basis and I do go to town, you know, to like buy groceries and stuff. But man, you really need to know what you're getting yourself into. <laughs> Hello me, I'm I'm filming, I'm talking to the audience right now. Yes, I love you too. Give me your other end, I don't want that end. Yes, this is a good end. Yes, you're a good sausage, hello me. You're a good sausage. Is there anything you would like to say to the audience? Dear hello me, millions of people listening to your wise words. You know how like in the Japanese kids shows, like the, the, the values that, they, that they're giving to you is, you know, no matter what the thing is that happened in the end or so on, if you did it with your friends, you know, like the, like the friends was the important thing, right? The companionship. Hey, hello me. Hey, nasse Pfoten. Hi, the I? Yeah, du, hi, the I? So you know how like in the Japanese kid shows, the, the moral at the end of the story is like, ah, oh, you know, like the thing, like the thing didn't matter. Like what was important was like the, the friendship, right? Like the, the, your companions that you did the thing with, right? And it's kind of true. Because after just, you know, having been off with yourself and you know, and the ta ta ta, and the tatwa masi, and the shunyata, and, and all of it, and it's good, and it's all good. But at the end of the day, what is it? That, what is the thing that you realize? Well, you realize that you are it, that you were the universe all along, that you were a manusia, that is to say you were a human. And a human is of course a, you know, part of a clan. It's a, it's a group creature. And the thing that makes life worth living is living for something that is greater than just yourself. Think of warriors and fighters from any notable culture. A manusia will gladly give his life for a greater purpose, for, for the group, for the clan, right? Gladly even. Living for more than yourself truly gives your life meaning. And having this peer group, having this, this true companionship, you know, these other fellows who you're willing to go through the trenches for, apparently, I've been, so I've been told, uh, in soldiers quite often, this idea of dying for your country, for patriotism, it's too abstract a concept. It's not what's on the mind of the soldier at the end of the day. The thing that they say, the thing that they would fight for and die for is their companions next to them, the, the companions who they're in the ditches with together. And sort of in the same way, my friend, Any spiritual practice that you may be doing, your meditation and your yoga and your tai chi chuan and kung fu and whatever it is. Doing it completely for yourself, at least long term, it's going to start feeling empty. Not in the nice Buddhist empty way, like in the not, like in the unsatisfying, my life is meaningless sort of empty. Now, you bring up an important question to your audience. And you say, well, you already feel this disconnection. You already feel this lack of companionship, of fellowship towards people and society and so on. And there are many reasons why you probably do. So the whole reason you're even playing with these thoughts of going off into the mountains is because you, 
is because you do not feel this, this, this sense of companionship there in the first place. And to that I say, well, that's essentially what Buddhism is, isn't it? Or any sort of these monastic and so on groups. You go off into the mountains to find yourself and so on, but after a while, you do want this peer group and you want companionship. And the thing that you go for is you find, you go and practice together with these other people who also went off into the mountains and were searching and wanted to practice. And this is called the Sangha, right? And remember, in Buddhism, one of the three jewels, besides the Buddha and the Dharma, is the Sangha, the spiritual community. And if you have the spiritual community, these people that you'd be willing to do anything for and practice together with, and you have the same values, the same focus in life, and it's fun to practice together with them, to meditate, to practice mindfulness, to do your Gong Fu with. Well then, things are just fantastic, huh? So, if you're still looking to go off into the mountains, may I suggest, come over here, Landkreis Schwäbisch Hall, here in the south of Germany. We have women, we have German women, if you're into women. We can like drink tea together and like do martial arts and smoke incense together. You get your little spiritual butt over here. I really need someone to philosophize with. This is, uh, I'm sorry, dear Halumi. You're just not the best conversational partner. I hate to break it to you. My friends. Ah, me awful. And see you again next week. Yes, oh, I love you too. Oh, yes, I love you too. Oh, yes. Oh, oh. Yeah, come here. Come here. Lass dich lieben. Lass dich lieben. Is there anything you would like to say to the audience? <laughs>